Those strong storms also causing some trees to snap, leaving some drivers stranded in the flood water. Action News reporter Brianna Smith has details about the damage. Communities across the Delaware Valley now have to deal with the aftermath of these strong storms, from toppled trees to flooded roads to vehicle crashes. While some have to focus on cleaning up, others are welcoming these seasonable temperatures. People across the Delaware Valley started their Sunday with more heat and humidity. We're hot. We need some water. <laughs> but many Philadelphians and tourists still venture to Center City, including Dolores Harris. She planned to watch Wawa Welcome America's Gospel on Independence Mall concert, but it was postponed because of the severe weather threat. I love my gospel. What can you do? The weather. Mother Nature took a turn around 4.45 p.m. when the heavy thunderstorms rolled through. Powerful thunder and lightning flashed across the sky as several people ran to escape the torrential downpour. The swift rains led to flash flooding in some spots. In Wilmington, Delaware, emergency crews went to Governor Prince Boulevard for flooded vehicles where they had to rescue several drivers from high water. In Lower Marion, Montgomery County, firefighters rushed to Centennial and Conshohocken State Roads after strong winds and rain caused a tree to fall onto power lines. First responders were also on I-76 in the Camden, New Jersey area after a vehicle overturned and shut down lanes. The severe weather impacted several drivers on the road. I mean, it uh, affected my commute down here a little bit because I live out in Bucks County, uh, but uh, I was able to get here safely tonight, so I'm, I'm thankful for that. But once the storm settled, tours continued in Philadelphia. We kind of just dealt with the rain as it came through, um, tried to stay under some trees when possible. They braved the rain, and here we are. We're having a great time. And grateful for the cooler temperatures. Feels a little overdue. We've, we've needed the rain, especially with the heat that's been through, so it was nice to have a little uh, reprieve. Yeah, it's nice to have a break from this heat and humidity. And for those who wanted to see that gospel concert, it's now rescheduled for tomorrow night at 7 p.m. in the same location. In Spring Garden, Brianna Smith for Action News at 10 on PHL 17.